Hello YouTube and my fellow Shinobis, my name is Lordgon1, and in this video I'll be talking about what Nagato's Jutsu might end up doing in Shinobi Strikers Season Pass 4. Oh, and before I forget again, just to clarify something. In the translated scan that Secret Technique 7 translated, it says that the Nagato we are getting is the reanimated version. So, without further delay, let's get into the video. Okay, so the first Jutsu I'm going to talk about is the Rank 2 VR Master Reward called Ninjutsu Chika Hodu. Pretty sure, I'm not sure how it's pronounced, I probably butchered it, but anyways. Now, I was unsure on what this could be, so I googled it, and got that it's called the Animal Path. And, I also went back to the scan, and saw that they had this gecko summoning on the scan itself. So now I'm thinking there's a couple of possibilities on what this Jutsu could do. Number one. Now this idea is what I originally thought of when I seen the scan for the first time. So you use the ninjutsu and summon the gecko, but instead of it staying in one spot like other summoning, it instead turns almost invisible and chases your target up to a certain point. And if it hits them, they get wrapped up in its tongue, basically this is a jutsu just like lightning net or shikigami dance shield but with tracking like water dragon or majestic destroyer flame number two so when you use this jutsu it summons the gecko but it instead opens its mouth and you jump in it and the gecko turns invisible and keeps you somewhat safe while you charge your other jutsu or wait for your ninja tool to come back and also it can't be locked on to until you come out this jutsu would be like fire style hiding in ash jutsu or earth style subterranean voyage like i wouldn't mind being able to hide in the middle of a battle from a full team or from a modder number three this is the last one i could think of now but what if the gecko isn't the only one you summon like what if you summon some of the other animals two and they all do some synchronized attack or something now this could be a long shot but looking at the scan of the gecko the image looks a little zoomed in like they are hiding something okay next up is the rank 4 reward called ninjutsu sharado again i'm pretty sure i butchered that pronunciation but anyways just like the last one, I googled this one, and it came up as the Asura Path, which the Narutopedia website gives the description as the Asura Path grants the user the ability to augment their own body to summon mechanized armor and various ballistic and mechanical weaponry. So, for number one, possibly for this jutsu, is that they are going to use the Shura Attack which is the cannon that forms from his hand and forearm to shoot a chakra blast at your target. Or number two, use the fire arrow head you to which you shoot a couple missiles from your hand and forearm to track your target and hit them. Or three, using the first two together like have one on each arm and fire them at the same time. Now I don't know about you but I would be happy with either or. And now we are going to talk about the ghetto statue secret technique. Basically, there's only one way I can think of them doing this. And it's by when you use the secret technique first, its hand will come out of the ground and do an area of effect attack around it. Then it's going to create a chakra spear from its mouth which transforms into a dragon serpent looking spirit. And then it's going to go after your target with the utmost insane damage which would be considered a one shot. And as it's doing that, the spread of it will be so big that it would probably be hard to dodge it without the help of ninjutsu. Plus, it could also heal you and maybe your teammates as well. But, there is a big, big possibility that all this could be wrong and this video was a waste of time, which I hope not. Now, if I was at least right about one of these, then I would hit the roof because I got something right. If you have any theories of your own, then I wouldn't mind hearing about them in the comments down below. But anyways, thank you all for watching, and please like, subscribe, and hit that bell so you can be notified for when I drop the next video of Shinobi Shaka.
or don't do anything I just said and be a rebel. But please, do so, because it would really help me out. But anyways, Lordagon1, logging out.